One of the interesting things we can do with centroids is find the volume of the body of revolution. This is sometimes called the theorem of Pappas and Gildanus, who are apparently the two guys that came up with it, though I never met them. It's not a crucial, critical path thing in statics. It's just something that as you're growing as an engineer, it's a useful thing to know because it's an easy way to do back of the envelope calculations. So if you have just a generic cylinder, you probably know what the formula is for the volume of that. If you're looking at this, this is going to be pi r squared times h. And we're taught that that's the, the area of this base times the height of the cylinder. That's fine, but it's also, of course, the volume of what you would get if you revolved sort of half of the square. So if I take a rectangle like this and I revolve it about its long axis, it carves out a cylinder. So as you're going around with a rectangle like this, you will get a cylinder. So is there a way to actually find out what the volume is by taking the area and revolving it rather than by memorizing all these formulas? Another example would be a cone. Some of you will remember that this is one third pi r squared h. It's someone, one that I often have to look up. But you could do the same thing by taking a triangle and revolving it about its long axis. Now, the thing is, when you compare these two formulas, you start to look at that one-third there. And the fact that I put this word centroids up here starts, starts to make you think of this a centroid as a third of the way from the big end of the triangle. So is there a way to relate all of this area and the rotation with an area with the centroid? And yes, of course there is, or we wouldn't be having this conversation. This is the formula for Pappas and Gildanus. Theta is how far around you go. It has to be in radians. So if I go all the way around, I'm dealing with 2 pi. R is the distance from the axis of revolution to the centroid of my shape. So always measure perpendicularly from this axis that you're revolving around to the centroid of your shape. And A is going to be the area that you're actually revolving, just in length squared. So how does this work for my rectangle? If I take a base R, this is my R by H cylinder that I had just a minute ago, this is 2 pi, I'm going all the way around. The distance from the axis to halfway through my radius is going to be R over 2, and my area of a rectangle is HR. So this gives me exactly what I started with here. When I'm looking at a triangle, I now have this r over 3. That's my dis perpendicular distance from the axis of revolution to the centroid of my area. Again, I'm going all the way around, and then I've got 1 half pi r squared h. Uh, 1 half pi r. And it, the area of a, a triangle is 1 half base times height, which gives me this. That gives me 1 third pi r squared h. That's my volume. That's what I had before. Now, this is all well and good for a triangle and a rectangle, but what is it, where is it actually more useful? Well, many times we're revolving shapes that don't actually make nice squares and triangles. So if you took this particular curve and revolved it around, finding the area is not difficult. We can take this dA, just like we did with integration for centroids. I've, that's a very easy integral to show that the area of this is a third. And the centroid integral isn't much more complicated. You've just got an extra x in here. So I've got x times the curve. That gives me a quarter inch. Now the volume of this, if I took it and I revolved it around its long axis here, the volume of this shape is 2, two pi times x bar times a gives me pi over 6 inches cubed. Now this is not one that you could probably do by memory. But at this point, you have the tools to do it, even without a computer or a CAD program. And when you're looking at engineering parts, they get very complicated very quickly. But most of our programs will tell you what the area and the uh, centroid of your shape is. So knowing this will help you understand how to do a quick calculation of a volume. And it's also useful for things like surface area. So if you have your, your generic party hat, this is formed by taking one line and revolving the line around, and then you get a solid, a, a hollow cone. The surface area of this is a very similar formula, pi, uh, 2 pi times r bar times l. Again, how far around are you going to go? Well, if you're going to go all the way around to get a hat, you're going to have 2 pi here. The distance to my centroid, this is about 6 centimeters over and about 16 centimeters long, my line. I measured it. 
that gave me 2 pi times 3 times 6, 16, or 96 pi centimeters squared. That ends up being another sort of back of the envelope, you can do this in a hurry, application of a centroid.